Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 908 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I have a really fun product to try out. This is from the brand Pure. It's the Festival 2.0 12 piece pressed pigments palette. And this is a product that I got in my July 2020 BoxyCharm box. And I think that might be the best BoxyCharm box I've ever gotten. If you haven't seen my unboxing of it, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. But I just got so many great makeup products. I got my all-time favorite lash serum. I got my first ever Fenty Beauty product that I can't wait to try out. But, oh my gosh, when I opened up this palette, I was so excited because look at these colors and all the sparkle. It's just such an inspiring, beautiful palette. It retails for $36 and you get 12 shades and there's glitter, there's shimmer, there's mattes. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of the shades. I'm just so intrigued. Hmm. This pressed glitter doesn't seem to be doing much. Hard to pick up. The mattes feel really nice though. They look really pigmented. Yeah, that shimmer swatch is really pretty, but it was kind of hard to pick up. So it might be a little difficult to work with. Same with that other glitter next to it. Hmm. That matte swatched kind of patchy. Ooh, no, but that matte swatched really beautiful and pigmented. Hmm. You definitely cannot tell the full story at all about a product just based off the swatches. And that's okay because the swatches are not really impressing me yet but I just also wanted to swatch all of them oh, so pretty so that I could get an idea of the colors to help me decide what kind of eyeshadow look I want to do okay yay that hot pink shade actually swatched so beautiful it's swatched like how it looks in the pan and that's what I was hoping Ooh, that's another really good matte shade. Oh, ooh, that shimmer metallic is amazing. Oh, that's a great matte also. Okay, that second row of swatches impressed me so much more. Kind of run out of space on my hand. It's okay. Ooh. This beautiful violet purple. Oh my gosh, that blue shimmer is so beautiful. And then it has like a gold sheen. That blue sparkle is also amazing. That purple is one of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen. Ooh, and then I thought that was going to be a forest green, but it also kind of looks navy i think that last row is my favorite i might have to make a look using those shades wow okay i love my rainbow hand right now with all these swatches the first four like i said i wasn't really impressed by it, but it just got better and better and now i am so excited to try these out on my eye and so as always, when I try out a new eyeshadow palette, I like to try it out with an eyeshadow primer. And the go-to eyeshadow primer for me these days is the Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix in Matte. So I'm just taking a little bit and I'm gonna apply that to one of my eyes. Love that there is a mirror in this palette. Whenever I travel, I always make sure to bring a palette with a mirror because if you're in a hotel and you have to share a bathroom, you don't want to have to wait for the mirror. And it's just so convenient to be able to do your makeup from anywhere, you can do it on the go. So that's a travel tip that I would definitely recommend is always to bring a palette with a mirror. I 
could just so go the direction of my comfort zone, which is the warm tone shimmery shades, but I do those eyeshadow looks all the time. I wanna play with this color, and it might be a little funky, but this is a festival palette, and I wanna have fun with it, so I'm just trying to think what combination of how I can incorporate the hot pink, the purple, and these blue shimmers. But we'll figure it out. I kind of want to take the hot pink and apply that all over the transition area. So going from the crease up to the brow bone, and I want it to really stand out. Even though it's that crease transition area, I still want of course, because I'm obsessed with the color pink, I still want this pink to be very prevalent. And it's just blending out so beautifully. You can get a great smoked out color that's so even very easily, or you can build it up. I'm trying to build it up and I'm trying to have it be way up on the brow bone. Because of my somewhat hooded eyes, I don't want to lose the pink shade when my eyes are open. So that's why I'm bringing it up really high. This eyeshadow look is making me happy already, just seeing so much pink on the eye. But see, so I just applied a little bit and you can see just how well it builds up. It gets so bright if that's what you want to achieve. And it's just so easy to blend. It blends so evenly, not at all patchy. Yeah, it's just as pigmented and bright on the eye without the primer as it is on the eye with the primer. So that is impressive. Look at that bright pink. I feel like I could just keep going and applying this beautiful hot pink shade on my eyes all day long, but I have to stop eventually, right? Yes, because I wanna add more colors. But I just love this hot pink. It is the most beautiful shade, but this purple shade, oh, it's shimmery and it almost has a metallic duochrome that's kind of blue. It's just so unique and so fun. So picking that up on a smaller crease brush, that's going to go right into the crease. Oh my gosh, how pretty is the transition from the hot pink to this purple shade? And I think it will be also a really good transition into blue because this purple is a perfect pink to blue transition color. I'm trying to build up the purple color as much as I can because I just love this shade and I want it to show up as much as possible in this eyeshadow look. And this one is applying so nicely, so easily, so buildable. You definitely want to take your time blending all of these, especially when they're so bright and colorful because you can really see all of the detail from the blending. I'm tempted to just put the light blue all over the lid, but I just have to use both of the blues because I can't decide between the two. They're just both so pretty. So I'm going to pick up the darker blue shade with my finger and apply that to the outer corner of the eyelid. Oh my gosh, that is so pigmented and foiled and gorgeous.
And so I'm basically applying this to the outer half of my eyelid. It definitely looks bold against the pink and purple, but you know what? This is a bold, colorful eyeshadow look, so that is okay. This is such a pretty blue shade. I just love colors, and this palette seriously has some of my favorite colors I have ever seen. I made a mess on my under eye, as always. I could clean that up after, but I already have my makeup wipe thing in my hand because I was cleaning off the eyeshadow, so might as well just clean up the eyes. And then I'm going to take the lighter sparkly blue shade and apply that to the inner half of the eyelid. I just love how sparkly this is. And then I'm going to try and blend those two shades together so that it's not a stripe, harsh line. So it's kind of with my finger blending out the transition. And even though I don't usually like to have harsh lines, I don't want to blend the blues in with the pinks and purples too much to the point where it starts to look muddy and not as you know pretty and colorful so I'm kind of okay with that separation from lid to crease kind of like a cut crease effect so I'm just gonna take a clean brush and go over that crease lightly so like I said I don't want to blend the colors too much but I want to make it so that it's an even crease transition. Okay. This really does give me festival vibes. This is definitely a look I would love to wear to a festival. It's so fun and I feel like that's what festivals are all about. It's just fun makeup, using color, expressing your personality with sparkle and color and just not caring if it looks perfect, if it all looks cohesive and perfectly blended. I don't think you need to worry about that for a festival look. I mean, I am a little bit worried about that just because when I apply eyeshadows, I want it to look good, but these colors can just all be thrown together in a mishmash of rainbowness. Sure, that's, a, that's one way to describe it. And it'll still look good because I feel like that's what festival makeup is about. And now maybe to just finish off the colorful look, I want to take the next most colorful shade in the palette to apply to the lower lash line. And I think that's this salmony pink shade here. So I'm going to smoke that along the lower lash line. Ooh, yeah. That does add a good pop of color and adds even more interest to the eye look. And it matches my shirt. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that I have not done an eyeshadow look like this before, but it was so much fun. I want to do this more often. Color just makes me happy. I love looking at bright colors, so I just love looking at this eyeshadow look. So let me show you how it all turned out. These eyeshadows are so good. Not only are the colors amazing, I think we understand how much I love the colors, the formulas are also so good. I wouldn't have been able to achieve such a colorful, bold look if the formulas were not so pigmented, easy to apply, easy to blend. So I am just all around so impressed and so happy with this. I feel like this is a great travel palette too because you can have your pops of color, but you also have very easy to wear casual neutral shades. Like the first ones that I swatched 
just some matte browns. You could do very casual looks with those as well. So I love a versatile eyeshadow palette. I feel like those are the types of palettes that are worth the money because you can do endless amounts of looks. So for, what is it, $36? I feel like this is worth it because of the range of colors that you get and because of the formula just being so great. Well, I am so happy. Is there a festival palette 1.0? Or I guess an original festival palette? If there is, I might have to get that because of how much I love this 2.0. But let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this palette and what kind of fun looks you have done with it. If you have this palette, I challenge you to create the most colorful, fun look that you can think of. Don't worry about blending it perfectly, making all the colors match. Just have fun with it and I don't think you would regret it because this just made me so happy and I want you to be happy with playing around with eyeshadow as much as I am. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.